Hi everybody and welcome to Photo Mike's Garage. All right, today we're taking a look at the FRS engine bay. This is my 2013 Scion FRS. And uh, some of you might notice that there's a change here. Uh, this is my silicone intake, but normally there would be a supercharger here. I have an electric supercharger. I made a number of videos on that and uh, it's not here. Actually, it's right here. I had to take it off because it stopped working after about four and a half years. It just suddenly stopped working and it's been very reliable. It's been like a set it and forget it type of thing. It always works and been very happy with it, but it just stopped working and I traced the cause of the problem down to the foot switch. Now what I mean is a gas pedal operated switch. Now it's not mounted there right now, but basically the way I had the setup uh, working for me was you push the gas pedal, there's a little um, micro switch and uh, it uh, contacts the gas pedal rod and as you push down towards full power, it uh, activates a switch which then sends a signal to the electric supercharger and just to quickly go over everything I've got three batteries underneath here one battery operates the car electronics a starter two batteries are mounted together they produce 24 volts that goes that goes to a controller which has a wire that goes to the throttle switch and wires that go to my electric supercharger. It has a brushless motor here, right there. And when this is activated, it spins the impeller. There's the, there's the impeller of the supercharger. It spins this at about 55,000 RPMs. Is capable of doing that and that is enough to produce up to 5 psi of boost that then goes into the intake. I have a tune from Vishnu Tuning that is built for this electric supercharger. It adds more fuel to go with the higher air and you get a nice little boost in horsepower up to 35 horsepower 40 foot-pounds of torque more especially at the low end. That's how the system works but right now it's not working because I have a problem with the uh, throttle activated foot switch. Okay, so this is the throttle activated switch. All right, so this mounts on a bolt that is holding the bracket that holds your uh, gas pedal into place. So basically, this is a two stage switch where you get two PSI of boost on the first stage. Second stage, you get the full five PSI and can actually hear the two switches. There's one switch. There's the other switch. Okay, we take off the metal mounting plate here, just like so, and I'll take the cover off. Voila. Okay, so upon further investigation, I noticed that the two PSI switch was working, and then as soon as I went over push the lever far enough to activate the 5 PSI, it did not activate. So, what I'm thinking is that I'm gonna replace this switch right here, the 5 PSI switch, uh, with a, another switch. I'm gonna so re-solder all these things, uh, do it exactly the way I can see it here. I'm gonna make a diagram first before I take this all apart, and uh, then just reinstall the switch and uh, hope that that fixes my throttle activation because this is all that's wrong with the Phantom Supercharger right now. Okay, and this is what I have purchased. This is pretty well an exact copy of the same switch. And it's gonna go in just like, just like that. You have to cut off these contact points so that it'll fit in the case and then re-solder all these wires so that's what I'm gonna do right now okay I made my little diagram of all the wiring connections so I can replicate them when I take everything apart okay I've got I melted the uh, 
the three connections. So basically one, two, and three connections on the old switch. And I have now removed that. I'll put the new switch in and then I'm going to JB weld up this plastic to reuse this case. Okay, so as you can see, I've got the tabs cut off, cut a little short to fit in my case. I've got my slots cut in here. This is where the spring is going to go. I've also got a, a, uh, a bend. As you can see, a bend right here. So this is an exact replication of the defective switch. Okay, I've got my new switch installed in place. Um, I've got a screw holding the spring in place and I've got one screw here and one screw here holding the switch uh, in its uh, proper position. I can see that the case is the case is broken here and it's got a nice crack going through here so I probably I really should have just uh, replaced the case but I'm committed now to keep going with this so I'm gonna see if I'm gonna make this work I'm gonna JB weld this and now but first I have to solder these these connections As you can see, my soldering skills are not the best. I have melted some of the plastic here and a little bit on the switch, but I'm hoping it's still gonna, I'm hoping it's still gonna work, of course, but uh, yeah, not the best. It's a very tight corner, so it's very hard to get in there, but uh, so I've got uh, one joint soldered, second joint soldered, now the third one, which should be easier. Where it belongs. Okay, there you go. JB Weld for the win. There you go. There we go. So this piece is back in. We got our post back in. And we got the crack sort of covered. Yeah, we're, we're definitely making good progress here. This will be back in the car and I'm hoping <laughs> running soon. Running soon, yes. Okay, so my repairs are now done. So it's time to test to make sure that it's actually working. And that's gonna be very simple. You're gonna see how simple this is. Okay, just for now, I'm going to just attach it. I'm not gonna attach it to the throttle. I'll just activate this by hand. I've connected it up as you can see. I'm just going to do this by hand and we'll see if we get our two stages of boost back and here you're going to see just how simple it is to install the electric supercharger now i'm not going to actually install it sorry okay you're going to see how simple this is i'm just going to place the electric supercharger here for now and connect it up so red to red blue to blue and black to black can't get no simpler than that as you can see we have the the wires attached to my phantom electric supercharger there it is you can see there's the impeller when i activate the throttle switch this will spin and what i should hear is the first stage which is going to spin fairly fast and then a second stage will kick in full 5 psi boost and that will sound even louder that will tell me that my throttle switch is repaired okay we're just going to turn it on to the on position we're not going to actually start the car we will activate the uh we will activate the Phantom Electric Supercharger system and you can see that we have 28.1 volts and that's not too bad and that's going to tell us if the throttle switch is repaired. Okay. I shall activate the throttle switch. Normally it would be up here and the gas pedal, would, uh, gas pedal rod would come here and push the switch up. Let's see what happens. 
Okay, did you hear that? Okay, so the first stage, second stage does not work. That's where the second stage is supposed to be. It's not working. First stage, and it turns off on the second stage. So, I failed. I failed. Oh, what's wrong with this car? So it looks like I have failed in my repair.